Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, does your family cause problems within your relationship? Well, we all have heard the term many, many times that family's everything. Family's the most important thing in the world. While this can be true, there can also be families who have dysfunction. And when that happens and it hasn't been resolved, you can bring that into your partnership at home. And the problem with this, if you're always made to feel guilty that you have to put up with certain things or there's um, a required part that you have to play with in your family on a regular basis and it's now starting to cause problems within your partnership, you really need to sit down and figure out if it's worth this. Because as an adult, you have your choices on how you live your life. You might have had to live up to a lot of rules when you were at home within your family dynamics of growing up, but that doesn't mean you have to always feel obligated to be that person that makes sure everything runs smoothly. This is when it's important for you to figure out whether your family is destructive or supportive. Because if there's always a problem, there's always some drama, there's always something to deal with, with every year or every few months in your family. People aren't talking, people are, are taking sides. There's all this stuff going on and you feel like you're in the middle of it. Start pulling away a little bit. Nobody says you have to go in there and be the peacekeeper. It's one thing to be there for your family and to, and to go to functions like birthdays and anniversaries and things like that, but you shouldn't have to go and be the mediator or be the one that comes in and tries to make the family whole all the time. Because once it starts to take a toll on your own relationship at home, it's not worth it. Everybody has their own life. Everybody has to take their own accountability for their actions. You don't have to be that person that feels guilty constantly because your family is in disarray. There's always something going on. If there's always something going on, there's always going to be something going on. So this is why you have to pick your battles. Pick the time that you give your energy to your family. Because if there's no support, you're not getting any of that back, and all you're doing is giving energy to them, which is taking away from your own home, then this isn't healthy. It's not good for your own personal relationship. And it's really not helping your family either because if it's just continuing on the same way and nobody's learning anything from it, you have to sit back and say to yourself, what am I doing? Why am I always having to appease a family situation that's dysfunctional? Because there comes a time when you have to put your own happiness first. It's not always about making everybody else okay. Sometimes we grow up with this kind of environment and so we feel that this expectation is something that, that we have to continue, but you don't. You can pull back a little bit. I'm not saying to leave your family completely, but just pull back a bit so that your partner's getting a good part of who you are. Because if you're coming back and you're always upset about what transpired on your when you saw your family and it's starting to cause a big disconnect with you and your partner, You've got to sit down and figure out what you're doing here. If you're constantly having to deal with family drama, this affects your mood. And your moods affect your partner's moods. So if you're feeling upset or you're sad or you're, you're in tears after you visit your family and this is sort of a repetitive situation, please sit down with your partner and have a talk with them about it. The more energy you give to this negative environment, the more it's going to cause your environment at home to feel very unsettled. And when that happens, it's just a slow fizzle away from you as a couple having a disconnect with each other. You always want to put your partner as a priority. There has to be a happy medium and some compromising going on here. Because I'm telling you, family is one of the biggest things I deal with within coaching and how it disrupts a lot of people's personal life. Because if there's a continual argument, a continual situation that isn't being resolved within the family unit, it's causing drama to everybody who's involved. You need to come and sit down and talk about it, whether it be through counseling or whether just pulling yourself back a bit from it. 
You don't have to do everything. You can see them at maybe a birthday or a Christmas once in a while, but don't feel that you have to be there to solve all their problems. Or as I said earlier, be the mediator. Because if you're noticing your partner's getting upset about it, you're gonna have more on your hands. You're not gonna have just the family problems. You're going to have your own problems at home as well. Your partner has probably been there for you many times when you've come home in tears after having some family situation that was traumatic or just hurtful. And they've been supportive to you. But if they're having to constantly be supportive about the same situation over and over again, you're not helping yourself and you're not helping your relationship. It's also a really good idea if you're dealing with a lot of family drama to seek some counseling for your own personal growth because sometimes you just don't know how to deal with it. You don't have the right tools on how to handle it and move forward, especially if your partner's given you a lot of things to work with and that's not helping. It takes pressure off your partner if you're talking to somebody else as well. That way when you come home, you're not dealing with all that the, the drama that maybe you've had to deal with for so long within your family dynamics. That way then, if you're not coming home and being upset about it all the time and you're talking to a counselor about it and finding ways to, to work through it, it will bring your relationship back on track as well. I personally believe that family doesn't always mean blood related. You can have family, a good family love with people who are actually are not blood related to you. If it's completely a dysfunctional disconnect with the family you do have now, sometimes you just have to put some some distance between the two two of you or the group of you for a while. It might come back on track again and they figure out they miss you more than having all the problems that go with it and maybe you can get something happening. So if it's starting to take a toll on your health or becoming all too consuming within your relationship, it's really time to rethink what part you want to play within your family dynamics. Thank you so much for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and leave any comments you have. What did you do? Did you have some family trauma and drama and all that kind of stuff? How did you handle it? What did you do to make your life better? Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.